The fact that the Nernst potential doesn't change significantly over the normal range of temperatures we encounter means that we don't have a significant change in measurements on a neuron when we do experiments at room temperature instead of inside a living organism. Likewise, the resting potential in your neurons doesn't change very much even if you're running a high fever. The Nernst potential is also inversely proportional to the valence of the ion Z. Valence, in this case, can be thought of as the net charge of the ion in solution. For instance, both sodium and potassium are plus 1, chloride is minus 1, and calcium is plus 2. If the Nernst potential for sodium is around positive 60 millivolts, and I told you that chloride has about the same ion concentrations inside and outside as sodium, what would the Nernst potential for chloride be?